How you doing guys, Zerai here. So uh, I will be sharing my thoughts on Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Beta. As obvious, an annual Call of Duty release is basically an essential of the international festival, with the FPS game releasing in the new installments in the every fall. However, with the Black Ops 6 Beta release, my first thoughts of the new Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Beta yeah, perhaps given me some little bit of a fate that this year's Call of Duty could be a standout. Of all, this is only a small part of the overall game. The Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Beta only includes a few maps, some weapons, and a leveling limit, and a game mode from the multiplayer side of the game. Now, I still need to play Black Ops 6's campaign and zombies before I can, you know, properly give you my thoughts. But, I'm certain I prefer Treyarch's long-running Black Ops subseries, but that does not diminish how fantastic the Black Ops 6 beta feels in comparison of the other Call of Duty games, particularly of, and so mentioned, uh, the innovative, as they say, omni-movement system. It is still astonishing that Call of Duty game has gone for so long without Omni movement, given how well it actually suits the FPS franchise's structure. Being able to dive into almost any direction, evade shots like Max Payne, and return a salvo of a bulleted retaliation fits beautifully with this kind of action hero style gameplay of the Call of Duty titles. And scoring those stunning clip worthy moments feels like as good as you would expect. Before I proceed, I have to mention this. I personally believe that Call of Duty Black Ops 6 has the best of all of the Call of Duty ever have been released in terms of its music, of theme music for multiplayer. My goodness, it is a banger. Now, it still helps that Treyarch appears to have created a diverse set of maps to accommodate the new mechanic. Of course, I'm talk talking about the Omni movement. With each location offering greater verticality and various pathways than previous Call of Duty games. It also appears that Nuketown will be renamed Sandhouse when Call of Duty Black Ops 6 launches. Skyline provides a secret vent system that allows you to infiltrate the opponent's side of the map until the spawn ultimately flip, whilst Derelict uh, provides a dilapidated train yard with multiple lanes for team deathmatch or perhaps domination. In all honesty, I'm not a great fan of Scud because it lacks the brightness of other maps while also being a popular area for folks who prefer sitting in corners and lying in wait. Of course, playing a versatile soldier capable of performing new tricks, shots, is only useful if the weaponry are worthy, which is happily, well, obviously the case. Aside from the deadly Jackal PD-SMG, uh, which was actually a very big plague in Black Ops 6 beta, at least initially, all the weapons feel balanced, giving equally powerful instruments of death depending, of course, on your preference of the weapons you choose. As an example, the XM4 assault rifle is a good all-rounder, whereas the AMS-85 fires more bullets but has a higher recoil. Of course, despite my somewhat of a high appreciation for this year's Call of Duty, not everything is perfect. My main complaint is predictably the spawning. For years, Call of Duty games have suffered from spawn issues throughout beta and early launches, and this time it is no exception, with adversaries and allies spawning in comparable locations far too frequently. It does not feel as awful as early Modern Warfare yeah, 2019 version, but it's still evident. There has also been a significant issue with the connection loss, with the notice flashing up regularly during my time with the beta. Most of the time it appears to be nothing more than just a warning, but I had some of my bullets fail to connect when they should have, and I do have very good internet connection here. The worst aspect for sure, however, it is not found in Black Ops 6 itself. In actuality it is the application, the app, as Call of Duty HQ is fucking shit. Everything should be changed at launch. Just by having to open Call of Duty HQ, update, restart the app, log into the beta and then watch everything restart from scratch again it's just freaking insane and i wish activision would just return to having each call of duty game with its own library of offering despite this the highs i personally think kind of outweigh the lows though so far the black ops 6 beta feels like a better version of cold war 
and given Cold War is one of my favorites, well, I can't really say in terms of its multiplayer, but I can't say in uh, terms of campaign and zombies, so I cannot wait for Black Ops 6 in terms of the campaign and zombies. It should still come to no surprise that I am interested. Obviously the hope is that Treyarch sticks the landing with the rest of the Black Ops 6 material, but I'm not as concerned that Black Ops 6 will be subpar after years of Call of Duty games having problems. Obviously we will see if Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is one of the top FPS games this October 2024. Do let me know as well what did you think about the Call of Duty's Black Ops 6's beta. It is open currently, so give it a shot, try it out, and perhaps maybe you'll like it, maybe you'll enjoy it, maybe not. But again, do note that this is just a another day, another year, same old, same old Call of Duty title. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys all and have a wonderful day.